Welcome to Line Musings. Today we're doing a Galen leather unboxing video. Um, I actually received this a few weeks ago, but I wanted to wait to do the unboxing with you guys. Um, so here we go. This is their complimentary little pouch that I think they give to most people in their orders. Um, I think it just comes with some cute little bits and bobs from the owners. I've got a 10% discount card or voucher for my next purchase, which is likely to happen. <laughs> um, some Turkish coffee, or grey tea. I'm not sure what that is. A refreshing towel. This is super cute. That's a really cute illustration. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? And I think this is just a little a little message from the owners. That's that. I'll just pop it back in the pouch. Pop it on the side. And I'll open up this one first. This is just the leather pencil case. I really love the packaging. It's so nice and really good quality. I'm going to keep these boxes. And here is the leather pencil case. I think it's a natural leather. Let's open her up. It's a really good size. I wanted to get this. Um, oh, don't mind the uh, sirens. <laughs> um, this I just wanted this as kind of like an everyday pencil case that I can carry to work. That just has I don't know a fountain pen highlighter and a um, you know, standard pen. That's really cute. Oh, the leather smells so good. Oh, that's great. Love that. Actually, I might pop some pens in there now, just so you can guys can see the the size of the pencil case. Pop in a couple of highlighters. I mean, that's quite good. You could probably put some more in there as well. Pop in another pen towel in a gel. Let's see if she closes up. Really happy with that. That can hold quite a lot of pens. Put that aside. And here we have one of the zipper fountain pen cases. This one um, can fit five uh, fountain pens and also has a pocket for a notebook. Um, and I got this one specifically because there was a guy at Bookbinders Design in Melbourne and he had recommended not getting the 10 pen case um, because it doesn't close um, so well and I guess if you're precious about your pens they'll they might scratch or like bump into each other um, yeah so I went with his advice and went with this Galen Leather 5 pen case and uh, we'll see how I go because I have have four fountain pens and I have a feeling that might grow. 
I'm not sure if I can limit myself to just one more. I, if you can hear my cat in the background, um, <laughs> please ignore it. <laughs> she's, she's just having a little fun. So, here we go. Oh, the leather smells so good, guys. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, it'll definitely fit the fountain pens. Let's give it a go. So the fountain pens I have for this demonstration, actually these are all the fountain pens I currently own. <laughs> um, let's start with, I'll pop the vanishing point in first. I'm conscious that the zip might scratch the pens, so um, yeah, I guess that's something to consider. That's the Twisby Diamond Mini. And then I got my two Caveco pens. I might pop them on the end. Oh, oh there we go. Oh no. I don't want the clip to go too far down. We'll see how that goes. And then this. There. That's really cute. I'm really happy with that. Let me just fix this clip. Super cute. And the, I guess my my fifth pen I'm thinking about getting is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Um, I really want the Every Rose Has Its Thorn colour, but unfortunately not available in Melbourne, Australia. But we'll see how we go. And then I guess on this side I'd have a notebook. Um, I don't have one with me, but... I would probably put a traveler's a traveler's notebook in here. Um, probably an ink test book. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Actually, I might go grab it now. My ink swatch book. <laughs> I don't have that many swatches because I'm only getting into this whole fountain pen thing, but um, intending to build up that collection. So I'll just slot him in. That's perfect, love that size. And close her up. Love it. That leather is so beautiful as well. It's the um, crazy horse leather. Let me double check that. Yeah, crazy horse brown. Love that. It's very, very similar to the um, Travelers Company camel shape, which is, I guess, like one of my favorite leather colors. That's it for the Galen Leather unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. I'll put them together. I'm really happy with these purchases. Perfect. And I hope this helps you decide what your next Galen leather purchase will be.